she has a campaign poem that we did. Quite frankly, it's not Hemingway, but it's kind of cool. I'm Elliot Raven from Charleston Town, a vet who served and did not frown. From the Army to be in the New York world, I decided to give Bloomings a fashion whirl. And after designing for major folks, De Laurenti, Givenchy, Pucci, I went on my own to create my own space, and I opened Peter Elliott in 77. And 40 years hence, well, it sure ain't heaven. We survived in spite of conditions where it's hard to thrive, thanks to a staff that works the jive. Doing business in Manhattan is no joke when dealing with landlords, those greedy blokes. There is no more gold on New York streets because the internet and landlords can't be beat. The gold on Madison and Third is gone, leaving so many stores so forlorn. From Ralph to Michael, they can't compete. So now you have empty, blighted streets. A tax imposed to 96th Street, quite negative to say the least, discriminatory and unconstitutional and anti-business at its worst, has caused a crisis that really hurts. So I'm running to fix it all, in spite of scaffolding, garbage, traffic, and homeless and all. Great leadership will win out while encouraging our citizens to help us out. With participating citizens creating new input, we'll make this city a shining light with clean and well-lit streets and parks and playgrounds for a super treat. Affordable housing and good jobs, new technology schools we create to beat. With New York Domestic Peace Corps and the Youth Reaction Corps, we'll move it all. And the work regulations would hurt us all by taking the initiative from us all. So let us all unite in this fight to create a new city of light. Let us all create together for this diverse whole and dare our leaders to be bold and remember Tolerance is the key. Civility is the luck. Thank you.